Well, housing sales are at a three-year low, down more than 10 percent. In the Twin Cities, sales fell nearly 3.5 percent last year, while median prices jumped to an all-time high. So what can we expect for the spring? Chris Lindahl with Chris Lindahl Real Estate joins us with the trends to watch. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. So what do you anticipate this spring as far as the market is concerned? Well, well what we're seeing is we're seeing a more normal, balanced market. So inventory right now is uh, still at record lows. Um, rates were on the rise in 2018, but rates have started to come down a little bit. And historically, it's still a really good rate. So if you're looking to sell a house, uh, what is the best category to be in? Is it still that heart starter home where those are still really hot and hard to get? Yeah, so, so starter home traditionally under 300,000 is sort of the area that you want to be in. That's where a lot of the millennials look to be. And, mm -hmm. and so millennials are looking to buy now, now that they're starting to clear some of their student loan debt. A lot of them are starting to get married. Mm -hmm. Life's changing. So you think that that was a fallacy? I remember we, for a while, there was this thought that millennials will never want to own because it's just a new generation and they rent cars and they rent bikes and they rent clothes and they just want to rent apartments. Do you think that that's turning out to be not true? Well, one of the things that one of the things that's different in the Twin Cities market is rent is extremely mm -hmm. high, and so in a lot of cases, you can actually go purchase a home with the where the rates are today for less than you could rent uh, an apartment or a luxury apartment for. So if you're someone that's looking to sell, what advice would you have for them? When's the best time to put it on the market and how do you decide whether or not you're pricing it correctly? Yeah, so plan ahead. So the key to success in selling in today's market is you have to win the online beauty pageant. Mm -hmm. So start thinking about staging, decluttering, remodeling. You really want to think about that ahead of time. And the best time to sell is when inventory is low and demand is high. All right, great advice. Anything else you want to let people know, especially if you're looking for a house, uh, should you have that letter from the bank before you start looking? Are we in that kind of a market, or do you think there's a little more breathing room now? If you're a home buyer, you definitely want to prepare ahead of time so that when you do find that property that you want to make an offer on, you actually have the pre approval process done because it's key to be planned, especially in areas where the, the properties are selling quickly. You want to make sure that you have everything in a row before you go out and look. And what areas would those be? What do you see being really hot this spring here in the Twin Cities? Well, so, so areas that are closer to the city. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the luxury apartments and areas like that are in the, the inner city. And so those first ring suburbs are the areas that, that move quickly. All right. Chris, so nice to meet you. Thanks yes. so much for coming in. Thank Good you luck for having this me. Spring. Thank you. Up next, we're going to, oh, by the way, you can find out all this information on care11.com under the 4 p.m. page.